This meeting is being recorded. Jane, have you heard? This meeting is being recorded. Have you heard from uh, Priscilla? Jane? I haven't heard from her, no. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay, we'll give another minute or so. Okay, well, we have a quorum. Hi, Janet. Hey, Gordon. So uh, let's proceed. Uh, first thing is uh, approval of the minutes of April 4th. I'll make a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, Communications, uh, announcements. Uh, I just wanted to pass on a conversation with um, I had with our friends at the Connecticut Department of Transportation that they are working on redoing um, the signs at the West Cornwall covered bridge. And uh, so those should be up in a week or so. Uh, the second thing. And then they are going to paint the West Cornwall, uh, the bridge in West Cornwall at night um, during the spring uh, to paint all the new lumber. Uh, basically the superstructure inside has been pretty well rebuilt. So they are gonna paint it at night, um, I believe in May. So uh, there should be some postings about that uh, also, I did alert them to the issue we've had on um, the bridge on Route 4, which has had beavers clog up the DOT bridge on Route 4, and it's caused a flooding issue on neighboring Jewel Street because of a backed up culvert. So they are gonna look into um, that situation there. We have been working with the DOT local maintenance, but they are, uh, the beavers at this point are flooding out part of Jewel Street. Uh, so, any other communications announcements? Of, let's see, additions to the agenda, any additions? None. Okay. Uh, first item is budget hearing. Uh, the annual budget hearing will be at 7.30 this Friday at Coral Consolidated School. That will be an in-person meeting. Um, so hope to see people there. Uh, there are, I believe the budget, the draft budget is on the website and is available in paper copy at uh, the post offices. So uh, a town meeting on the budget will be held in May. So anything else on the budget hearing? Uh, hope people can make that. Uh, will be an interesting a year, a little different than usual. Uh, Hammond Beach, I believe, following up on a suggestion, Park and Rec has appointed several people to work as a subcommittee of Park and Rec. Uh, 
concerning him and Beach. And so I believe administrative assistant Jane Hall has been has been named chairman of that subcommittee. Jane, any thoughts, uh, the general ideas to get more, maybe some more activities and things going on at the town beach? Yeah, so I reached out to Marina today um, and we're gonna set up an initial meeting just to see what her expectations are of the subcommittee um, and how we can be a support to her um, and Hammond Beach as a whole. So we don't have anything solid yet, but we're, we're gonna be meeting um, in the next week or so. Good. So, and we expect to have the beach open around in mid, in mid uh, June after schools are out. Uh, anything else on Hammond Beach? Um, so, is there, has there a decision made to have a head guard who would be overseeing the lifeguards and their schedules? Yeah, I believe there's going to be a head guard. Yes, but I think the, schedule, the scheduling would still be done by the beach director. Is that uh, position being posted? I believe we've advertised that position, yes. The head guard position? Yeah, I believe we've advert. I forgot exactly what the language was, but I believe we advertised for lifeguards in general. Yeah, that was on like CCN and stuff like that. But I mean, is it being advertised anywhere else? And is the head guard position being separately advertised? Um, I don't, I don't believe it's separately advertised. I think we just put out a thing for lifeguards and we ran in, in the local newspapers. Is that right, Jane? Yeah, it's posted on the um, Cornwall CT website, um, on Facebook, the CCN and in the Lakeville Journal for two weeks. Okay, That's, but, but, okay. That, but again, okay. But the head guard position is not going to be advertised. Not separately, but we assume we'll see who applies to be lifeguards and then we'll see who's best fit to do the life, the head lifeguard. Okay, anything else on Hammond Beach? Uh, compost application. Uh, the revised compost application was put in the mail today, I think. Um, and so we did um, adjust it. Now the site of the compost facility in at the transfer station is in a new location. Uh, it is to the um, left of the bulky waste boxes up on the hill a little bit. The drop off container will be in the same place. Uh, we have talked to our concierge at DEP who is interested in seeing our new our new uh, application and we sent in a $500 application fee, uh, which seemed a little bit steep. They told me it was half price. So it seemed a little steep, uh, but anyway, that's not our call. But anyway, so we believe our new application is complete. Um, and uh, again, we are awaiting a response, which will hopefully have something to report next meeting. So again, uh, we feel confident we can get a good program going there. Unfortunately, it won't be uh, as soon as we'd hoped. So, but to make up for uh, that, there is going to be the big Earth Day event at the library on Earth Day. Uh, I see some of the sponsors here in the audience if you wanna give a pitch. Uh, tell us who the compost lineup is. I'm happy to do that, Gordon. Um, we have Richard Schlesinger moderating a panel of four experts. We have <clears throat> Dr. Jane Lucas, soil microbiologist from the Cary Institute. We have Michael Nadeau, who's an organic sustainable landscaper, really well known. We've got... Um, Barbara Bettigall, who's the force behind the Sharon Salisbury. And we've got, of course, the fourth person like is, oh, we've got Ted Larson. 
from from our own transfer station. Uh, so that's the lineup. And I think just to sort of check in on Ted, he's going to be reporting on where we are in this application process, right? And what it will look like if and when we get the permits. Does that sound right to you? Yes. This is what's known as a TED talk, I guess. No? <laughs> exactly. Anyway, um, yeah, it'll be, uh, it should be good. Um, I think we're ready to go. Mm. RSVP now if you want to go because it's just about full. Okay, it's full. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. New logo, the, the Brown is down in Connecticut. That. What do you think? Do you, uh, yes. The day, yeah. the day and time? Yeah, it's Earth Day, April 22nd, 3 to 5 p.m. at the library. And there are a couple components. So there's this panel speaking component. And then um, you there's going to be a demonstration on a hands-on demonstration by Dr. Jane Lucas. So if you can't get into the speaking part of it, you can join for the outdoor part of it. So she'll give a presentation on that hands-on. And then there's going to be a little stroll to a couple of um, compost locations right in town. Adam Van Doren has done the map. So if, you, if you're closed out of the of the panel itself, you know, come for the second hour, which is that outdoor part. Would you like it videoed? Wow, that's a really nice, can I get back to you only because we might need permission, but that would be amazing. Okay, so, just get back to me. Okay, thanks so much, Richard. Okay. Thank you. Sounds good. Thank you so much for pulling together. Uh, and hopefully it's a nice day for the stroll. I might come for the stroll. Um, be good. So uh, anything else on compost, Earth Day? We will have a little chat about um, this little uh, picking up trash um, item that we will talk about maybe during public comment. Uh, okay, well, thank you all for pulling that together. Uh, road projects, uh, we have a, um, a bit of resurfacing that's going to be happening uh, tomorrow on Scoville Road, uh, Town Street, north of Yelping Hill in Yelping Hill Road itself. The roads will not be closed, but people have to pay attention so they don't get in stuck in the oil, uh, but it will be quickly covered with a chip seal, rock, um, and then rolled in there. So people will be able to drive on it fairly quickly, but expect um, expect a little bit of delay if you're going through that part of town tomorrow. It should be fairly quick. And then we'll sweep up the stone probably in a couple of weeks after it's put down. Uh, let's see, railroad issues. Um, I did write, um, uh, Attorney Rodriguez from the railroad and asked if he would be open to a meeting with uh, municipal officials. And I haven't heard back from him. I did hear from Representative Horn, who's lining up a meeting with people from DEP and um, DOT. Uh, she's in the middle of the state budget negotiations right now. So we hope to nail down a date. Uh, it'd be nice if the railroad attended. Uh, but I would expect a meeting sometime in early May on that topic. So anything else on railroad issues? Um, one thing I did talk to the railroad about, I think it would be good for people to hear about their railroad safety um, and track safety, track maintenance, and the whole derailment issue that we saw unfold in, in Ohio. Uh, has been an ongoing concern as another railroad topic. Uh, so again, we'll look forward to that meeting. So uh, animal control officers, uh, this is animal control officer week. So uh, I would like to acknowledge the work of uh, our animal control officers. Um, Lee and Jim Soule, uh, Brad Hedden, who's recently completed a wildlife um, animal control course, and also Jack Malahan, who's an assistant animal control officer for their work towards 
control of animals. So uh, anyway, I'll be sending them a note, thanking them. Of uh, Anything else on animal control? Actually, Gordon, can I pop in here for a second on our animal control officer? Sure. Um, the Cornwall Association is hosting a meet and greet to meet Lee Sewell at the library on Monday, April 24th from 6 to 7 p.m. So a uh, chance to meet our new animal control officer and um, come on down. Just thought I'd pop that in while we're acknowledging Great. her. All right, thank you. You're welcome. That's a great idea. Okay. Um, anything else on animal control? Okay, and our thanks to our people for working on that. Uh, sexual harassment awareness training. Uh, we have been meeting with our insurance company to make sure the town is doing everything it should be doing in order to run properly. One of the things that has come to our attention is we have to have uh, sexual harassment awareness training for all town employees. So um, we have been researching that and we will circulate to our employees uh, what the requirements are. There's basically a web training course that everyone is required to take. It's approved by KERMA and it meets this, the legal requirements that municipal employees must have. So anyway, we will um, be circulating information about that. Uh, we're also working on uh, getting cybersecurity insurance as the insurance company recommended as about half the towns of Connecticut have been hacked or some of them have been hacked several times. Uh, very, can be, can be an expensive thing to happen. So again, we're trying to work on a policy and um, get insurance for that as well as working with our IT person to upgrade our computers to make them resilient to um, cyber threats. Um, next, we have a couple of tax refunds. Jane, do you have those total there? Okay, so, there was there was one for $5,729.70. Okay, and it so was I'll make a over, overpayment. So I make a motion that we grant that overpayment. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, uh, so that leaves us with public comment. Uh, one thing I forgot to publicize, but I'm sure there are people here that know about it, is there's going to be some organized trash pickup in town soon. Yes. Michelle. Yes, Karen. we have that ready for you, Gordon. Um, you. Park and Rec uh, partnered with Chris Jackson and CNM Carding are hosting a Earth Day weekend event. And I really want to do a shout out to Jane Hall and um, Chris and Kim for all their work putting these details together. They did a really great job. So what it's going to be is on Friday, the 21st, Saturday, the 22nd, or Sunday, the 23rd, between nine and one, we're encouraging you to go out and clean up Cornwall, walk your streets, pick up the trash along your roads, Pick a time that works for you and your family, friends, make an event out of it. It will not conflict with the composting event. So you have time to do everything Earth Day friendly that day. Uh, Chris Jackson um, has purchased 60 safety vests because of course, walking the streets, we want you to be safe, but they're not yours to keep. We're asking you to check in at the Village Green Sign in that you're out on the roads, get a safety vest. He also has a cleanup kit with some gloves and a trash bag, um, all the things you'll need to do this fabulous pickup. Go out, pick up wherever you wanna pick up, your favorite hikes or whatever. Take your vest, please, when you're done, back to the Village Green and check in so we know you're safe and sound. We'd like to know that nobody's eaten or run over or anything like that out there. 
Um, and then the second half of Chris's generous donation is he is going to have drop-off zones in all sections of Cornwall. There will be West Cornwall, North Cornwall, East Cornwall, Cornwall Bridge, and the Village. Um, those locations will be on our website, so you can look them up if you're interested, but there will be a dumpster in the village. So you're coming to return your safety vest, toss that trash bag in the dumpster. Um, but if for some reason timing doesn't work, you may drop that trash bag at a drop zone. Um, Chris is coming around and picking them up, so there will not be trash bags left out all night, no, no bear buffets around town from this event. Um, so he'll pick that up. So it's super easy. It fits your schedule. Um, it's a social event. It's a chance to um, address something that if you're on the Cornwall community network, we've been talking about um, people, um, John and others talk about how many times a day they run and pick up trash and um, we've learned that he gets a lot of vodka nibs out on the road. So we have a lot of little alcohol bottles and different trash. Also, Gordon, a lot of things people are talking about, I think we need to touch base with Optimum is there's a lot of trash that appears to be related to this line laying. Um, a lot of wires, wrappers, not, and, we're not going to talk about the food out there because anybody could be thrown food wrappers, but there's very clearly things that are related to this line being done. So um, I've seen several posts about it. So perhaps a word to Optimum about that would be helpful. But in other words, clean up Cornwall this weekend, get out there what works for you, nine to one o'clock, come to the green, get your supplies. Thank you, Chris Jackson, for that donation. And I think it'll be a great way to have fun and celebrate our green Cornwall. Any questions on that event from council and anyone else? Chris um, Jackson, do you want to add anything? And um, my partner in crime, Jen Marco, is here as well. So if I've forgotten anything, pop in. Michelle, thank you. I think you, uh, you covered really everything, um, more than I probably would have gone out there. But um, I'm looking forward to the event. I'm looking oh, forward see. to uh, to helping and um, you know getting out, seeing people, and shaking some hands and cleaning Cornwall while we're at it. And there, at the drop zones, there will be a sign listed of where you're to put your trash. So you'll know very specifically. Think trick or treating around the village with a sign that tells you where you participate. Chris is going to have signs to let you know where you drop it. Okay. Um, now. On to more park and rec things, if I can keep going. Um, just one, second. Still just okay. Oh, Janet, you can um, go first. So, so it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 9 to 1, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. So uh, I have noticed the, the pieces of cable and such out on my travels. So I'm going, I will contact Optimum. I'm going to try to get some pictures. If anybody on their travels has a picture of cable or obvious optimum uh, detritus uh, send it to the selectman's office and we'll send it on to our liaison people um, so anyway that we are I, we are aware of that issue and we will be following up this week so if you have some uh, good pictures of pieces of cable or whatever um, let us uh, let them let us have those and we'll pass them on thank you yes michelle more Okay, I, I, you know, it is the busy social season for Park and Rec. Um, one thing I wanted to tag on before we leave Earth Day event is pictures. You reminded me, Gordon, we would love to have pictures of you guys out there with your crew, family, picture of the giant bag you collected. Um, hashtag clean up Cornwall and put it on our Facebook page or put it on the network. And um, we wanna see what you've gathered out there. This will be a good way to um, show how much trash we actually collected. Um, all right. Yeah. And, and thank, thank uh, Chris. It's a nice uh, new business in town and if uh, people have uh, a need to uh, sort out their stuff, Chris is a, it's great to have that resource in town because people tend to seem to collect more than they part with stuff these days. So. Anyway, thank you, Chris, for really 
doing 200% on this. Well, and honestly, this project started by Chris offering this up on the community network. I merely saw his offer and figured out a way to take advantage of it. So this all started with him. Great. Well, I'm, I'm happy to help. All right. So um, this week, we also have our um, community social hour coming up Wednesday, the 19th. It's from 3 to 4 p.m. No RSVP needed. We just gather, chat with friends, have some snacks and beverages, and just hang out this week, um, this month, it will be at Town Hall. So pop on by and chat with your neighbor. Um, that actually occurs every month, third Wednesday of the month. The only thing that will change is location. As it gets nicer, we'll be moving out to Footfield. Um, but that is, you can count on that um, every month. The next thing we wanna talk is tying in Gordon to the Hammond Beach. Um, we are hosting town annual town picnic on June 17th. So uh, the beach will be open, excuse me. It will be um, our traditional uh, burgers and dogs, potluck, ag commission, um, ice cream social kind of thing. The what's changing this year is we love the music, but we were thinking keeping it Cornwall we are gonna have another Cornwall open mic night. So get your acts ready, people. Get those performances going. We'll have a sign up in May. We're looking for music. Um, no offense to poetry and readings and other things, but um, we want music on the beach. And rather than having one set band, we thought, wouldn't it be great to showcase all the talent in Cornwall? So for our annual town picnic, um, bring them back open mic night, spread the word, um, get it going. And um, we're looking forward. There'll be a sign up, like I said, so we know how many people. All right, and that leads us into music for the summer. I want you to mark your calendar, save the date, details on these will come. But July 21st will be our family July Fest on the town green. And we have a great band. We're working on food trucks and a lot of fun activities for family. Um, the will be probably five to eight. We're looking to start a little earlier so people have time to mill about and do things, but the band will be starting later. And then back by popular demand will be Taste of Cornwall in August. Um, we had a great time and we're gonna do that again. So on August 11th this year, also five to eight will be Taste of Cornwall. That particular event is partnering with EDC where we would like to showcase not only the taste of food of Cornwall, but a taste of businesses of Cornwall. So the EDC will be organizing and sponsoring that. So if you are a business or an organization and you would like to showcase what you do here in Cornwall, the back of the green is gonna be that section, so little business organization fair. Think ag fair as you line up along Bolton Hill, go along the Lutheran church and kind of make that loop up at the top. That's gonna be the taste of business for Cornwall. So um, contact EDC, we're gonna have them organize how you all wanna do it, but our thoughts are set up a little table, booth, whether or not the farmer's market vendors wanna come or how you all wanna do it, we're leaving it to EDC, but we thought it would be a great way to partner all parts of Cornwall. So we're super excited about that new part to it. That's it for now. That's a lot, that's enough. <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah, I think the town's coming out of hibernation. Thank you very much for organizing all that. And one other side conversation I did have with Trinity Conference Center saying they would be interested in hosting a senior event down there sometime midweek. So that might be another location for your social time because that's a really nice yeah. really nice spot down there. So if you want to call down there, they they are looking to become more involved in the community and it's a it's a wonderful spot. I think people get it. Um, the, it's a great place to visit and socialize. So yeah. Okay. Thank you all. Any other public comments? Questions from the press? I do have Hi, one there. quick question. Hi everyone. Um, about the first thing you mentioned, where the bridge is clogged up by beavers, where where is that bridge, and what exactly that bridge, happened? Yeah, that bridge is downtown Cornwall Village on Route Four by the post office. You can see there's a lake forming on Jewel Street. Um, 
Yes. So that is that is the intersection of Jewel Street and Corner by the post office in Cornwall Village. Um, so the bridge actually spans uh, is on Route Four. It's a state bridge, but they've rid the Beavers have have uh, raised the water level behind the bridge so that it is it is going back through a culvert, also on Route Four, and creating a flooding condition on the town road. Wow. Okay, I'll have to go get a picture of that water. Yeah, it's you. it's pretty spectacular. It's not quite uh, as bad as they're having out in uh, the Central Valley of, of California, but Cornwall standards, it's it's a significant flood issue there. Well, thank you for the info. You're welcome. Any other questions, comments from the public? A lot of good events, a lot of good things happening, it, and. Can can I just add one thing because there were a lot of dates thrown out there. I just want to give a heads up that July 15th, the Cornwall Conservation Commission um, is sponsoring the limnologist, Air Limnology, to conduct a, a, ta um, a demonstration of what lake water testing is and why it's important. Everyone is going to be invited. Uh, it's going to be hosted at the Cream Hill Lake Association. There's a lot of space there, um, but I just sort of wanted to put that date out there as people plan things. That's going to be in the morning, July 15th. Okay. Thank you for thinking ahead on that. And seeing no other hands raised, thank you all for participating. And we'll see you at some of these events or in two weeks. Okay. Good night, everyone. Thank you.